Okay, so uh, cool, man. So I see you wearing that's a dope outfit. Oh, yeah, I, I just want to. I want to see how, how did, did you guys happen? end up linking with a cool? So with a cool, the actual owner Ralph Reynolds. That's my boy. Yeah, so don't Ralph play. Reynolds. Yeah, so that's he's my guy. Owner. So one night he was just sitting up. Uh, and and Dunk Mess was on TV and it woke him up out of sleep and he just walked up and he seen it on TV and he ended up watching all the episodes and then after that he hit me in the DM like I got the DM from when he first hit me mm -hmm. about two years ago like man what's up give me a call and I'm like who is this you know what I'm saying I'm looking at it I sent it to my man Steve Mo he like bro that's the dude who owned a, a cool cool. RP55 that's right yeah we on Boss Talk 101 so, man, um, I don't know, man. So what's next for, like, because you always trying to come up with different ideas of how to build a car and make it different. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing that is in your head that you haven't made to fruition yet? I got some top secret stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 no, I can't tell nobody. Just, nah, just a little. Just a little. It, it, it ain't ever been done before. <laughs> okay, when are you going to do it? Huh? I'm trying to do it by the next year. By the end of this year, it should be year. out. The car should be finished by the end of this year. I'm doing so you right have now. you started working on it? Oh, so yeah, for are? sure. Yeah, It ain't never been done before. I'm the first one to ever do it in the world. What kind of car is it? It's a dunk. It's a dunk. Oh, yeah. I'm the dunk master. And you, don't know, dunk. What, and you what? don't know what, and you're just not going to let us know. Nah, that. I can't no, today. No. Just, just keep looking on the news. You'll I'm going to ask you another question. What's <laughs> the most you ever betted on a race? The most I per, by myself? Yeah, mm -hmm. by yourself. The most I ever bet by myself is 25000 by myself. Bet it. Put it up. And what's the most you ever Did you lose? No, hell no. Don't speed most, The most Did you lose? Spend a name winning, man. Nah, I won. The most ever <laughs> won was one hundred and sixty thousand. Wow. Yeah. By yourself? No, nah, I bet twenty five. That was collective. Yeah, yeah. For, with the whole group, we bet one hundred and sixty thousand. Hey. See you, Larry. Y'all got some nerves, uh, man. Yeah, nah, Nuts big as, cojones big as this table. Yeah, Nigga, I'd have been nervous. Yeah, I'd be nervous. <laughs> I would have been I'm nervous. nervous. What's the most you ever lost? The most ever lost? I probably lost 80,000. Yeah, 80,000. Wow, that's mm. the adrenaline rush of it. Oh, yeah. You shoot dice too, don't you? I, you know I do. <laughs> These niggas hate your You gotta shoot them dice, man. <laughs> <laughs> do you race horses, man? Nah, we do. My partners do. My partners are uh, Bruce and Boy, Dead on the Out the Country. They race horses all the time. Yeah, they, they stay racing horses. I, I, have but hold on, I have this question, though. With all the money that you've been making, mm -hmm. I know that you have to invest it. Mm -hmm. Tell me one thing that is the most lucrative investment that you do right now. Them cars? Uh, yeah, really no. myself. Really the really? brand. Yeah, so like my brand is why, why we got this deal with the cool. I'm about to get into that. But I heard something yeah. about you investing in oil or you did something with oil. Yeah, I is heard that, that too. Nah, we didn't do nothing with hey, that. Nah, own oil. oil. Do you oil. have your own oil? Nah, nah. Yeah, we oh, got see? we got different stuff, like, but not our own. We got like detailer sprays and stuff like that coming out. But a lot of stuff I do maybe I it's coming in into brand. Maybe it's, it's speaking into existence. Maybe oh, yeah. you're going to buy an oil rig somewhere you're going to own it. Hey, so a cool, man. So I see you wearing that's a dope outfit. Oh, yeah. I just want to I want to see how, how did, did you happen? guys end up linking with a coup? So with a coup with the actual owner Ralph Reynolds. That's my boy. Yeah, so Don't Ralph play. Reynolds. Yeah, so That's he's my guy. Owner. So one night he was just sitting up uh, and and Dunk Mess was on TV and it woke him up out of sleep and he just walked up and he seen it on TV and he ended up watching all the episodes and then after that he hit me in the DM like I got the DM from when he first hit me mm -hmm. about two years ago like man what's up give me a call and I'm like who is this you know what I'm saying I'm looking at it I sent it to my man Steve Mo he like bro that's the dude who owned a, a cool cool. RP55 that's right I said for real I said alright bet I hit him back Steve Mo talked to him we got on the phone we talked about everything for a long time and it, it was took it took from that point about two years to get where we at right now really yeah. so we was just kept talking back and forth he'd be watching checking on it you know what I mean cool dude the team is cool and solid mm -hmm. and that, and that's what it came he's like we want to do something with you and we came up with a plan and and now it's working you know what I mean I got a cool I got a partnership we go be in over 1500 retail stores on websites mm -hmm. you know what I mean we in Dillard's Macy no Dillard's uh, Jimmy Jazz City yeah. City Gear all yeah. that stuff like that right. Hibbets yeah. yeah so we all I know where you oh, yeah. so, <laughs> but how yeah. was it for you the first time in Vegas at a magic show mm -hmm. With a cool. I liked it. You know what I mean? It was a good time. I met a lot of different mm. people. A lot you of met me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was cutting up on he you. I said, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing. I said, man, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing. He not go over there. I said, I told my wife. She can't tell me. She went over there first. Yeah, yeah, I said, where do you talk to who? Yeah. Said the dunk, man. I said, he over there. Go talk to him. I said, he say his assistant go. Hey, man. I said, that nigga. I said, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got five kids. I got employees. I got meetings. I got all that stuff. I can't keep up with all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
now, but I had to know because I had to look through. I said, damn, man, I went in there and talked to Jerry. I said, Jerry, who that dude y'all got over here with y'all? I've been, you got to realize, Ralph and us, we go back all the way to old. We've been doing this a We really rock. And I'll say, man, who did this? Y'all done got this nigga out of cool and everything. You know, the time they say, oh, he good, and you got to go talk to him. I said, I'm going to go out and talk to him. But my wife, when he got managers, you ain't going to be able to get to that nigga right there. <laughs> but see, that was I appreciate the honesty and the truth. Cause that's what it is. Like a lot of people don't don't want a man up. You know what I'm saying to right. say that. But that's man. how it works. It's a system. You know what I mean. That's mm -hmm. how I operate it. And that's what I, I told him. I said, you know, because even like if we know you directly, because we yeah. deal with a lot of artists and a lot of people. Lot of people. Say, yeah. And they'll say, okay, but still hit my manager up or, yeah. or my booking agent or whatever, yeah. because you have to go through certain roles to we get to keep you. That structure. Th yeah. That structure. That's all it is. I respect it, but I still want a clown. So me, I'm out there with that foolishness. Yeah. 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 And I was like, nah, that ain't work. That ain't work. Who's that guy with you? Where is he at? That's Steve Moe. That's my. That's the head of business you development. You tell that media. nigga to answer his phone, nigga. Yeah. I blow that nigga up. Do that. And I say, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I give you the direct line to my manager. He, he takes I got it right now. He take, yeah. That's Gavin, yeah, right? He yeah. takes it right back. Yeah, he owned it. He owned it. He owned it. He owned it. I want to know where you at now. Yeah, yeah. Gavin, where y'all at this week? <laughs> that's what we got to do. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.